Well, Patrick, we just heard from a school spokesperson who called that behavior unacceptable and said all students involved will be held accountable. Meanwhile, state police have charged a 20-year-old man. It's unclear, though, whether he's a student of Bryant or Wagner. Take a look at this video that our cameras caught inside the Chase Athletic Center last night. It shows chaos breaking out on the stands between Bryant and Wagner students. Punches being thrown, even items like water bottles being tossed. The clock was stopped with minutes left in the game and a number of Wagner students were ushered out. This did result in one arrest, a 20-year-old man by the name of Connor Gleam from Raynham, Massachusetts. He was charged with disorderly conduct and obstructing an officer in execution of duty. This morning, we are hearing from a school spokesperson who said that while a large majority of students were focused on the game and celebrating their team, a small number did engage in unacceptable behavior. They say this incident is under investigation and all those involved will be held accountable. Now, students here last night were disappointed to see what happened all while the nation was watching on television. For the people that were watching, the, you know, people calling the brawl at Bryan or whatnot, I don't think that's really indicative of who we are here as a school. So we're all good people here. We don't want to, we don't want a bad reputation like that. Now, as for Bryant's basketball team, this ordeal last night didn't affect them at all. They're heading to the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history. And as for that student charged, he has since been released. Live in Smithfield, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.